Hey, Gateway family, it's me, Pastor David, with a short message to update our entire church, our one church in multiple cities, on the subject, when will Gateway regather? The COVID-19 crisis has been an unprecedented event. Fear has gripped many, economies have convulsed, and tragically, over 100,000 infected persons have died in the United States. While the current shelter-in-place orders were created originally to save lives, they've been super hard on people. Many people have lost income, most have struggled emotionally, and all of us have missed being able to gather freely in person. Yet, in the midst of all of this, God is powerfully at work. Overall, our people remain spiritually strong, physically healthy, and emotionally resilient, praise God. The church is alive and the church is well. And what has been intended for evil, God is actually using for good and he's preparing us for an even greater future together. Despite all the pain and all the hardship, the Lord's faithfulness has been right there. And as the country continues to open back up progressively, we believe now more than ever that the best is yet to come. We've always known that the church was essential. And so we're eager to regather as soon as we possibly and advantageously can. In most of our locations, including San Jose, while it's not yet clear what that moment may be, yet with each passing day, we are getting closer. In the meantime, we want all of our people to understand four guiding principles that will help us to safely and successfully gather in person when that time comes. The first principle is worship. Our calling is to worship Jesus Christ as Lord, and of course, that has never stopped. We're presently gathering for worship, teaching, prayer, and small groups in large numbers online. In some of our locations, local conditions are already opening up, allowing for safe in-person meetings, and more are coming as the rest of the country opens up. Since Jesus is present with us, whether we fill a building or not, we're gonna joyfully continue to worship, to pray, and to give using innovation, technology, and faith to stay connected and on mission. The second guiding principle is wisdom. The health and safety of our members and our neighbors, especially the vulnerable, is a top concern in any decision to regather. The scripture enjoins us to seek wisdom in every area of life. Given the unpredictable and unknown aspects of this invisible killer, a phased reopening will likely be the best approach. And while we'll likely begin with smaller groups and increase gradually, we will always value the efforts of our health officials to guide us, even though at times this guidance has been unclear and illogical. Whatever the case, we remain committed to God's wisdom in our lives. The third guiding principle is welcome. Part of what makes Gateway so special is the sense of God's presence and the warmth of our welcome for all people. This is what we value so much. This is what we miss about being together. So to regather under conditions that would not be a good experience for children or the elderly or for newcomers or for those that are shaken by fear, to do that would not be advantageous for our church. So as a leadership team, we're not just thinking of when can we legally regather. We're actually thinking about when we can advantageously regather. We want nothing less than that gateway warmth, that welcome and that atmosphere. The final guiding principle is witness. While many are rightly concerned about the loss of our God-given freedoms, we also have to keep this in mind. We have God-given responsibilities. Our communities rightly expect us to be good citizens who love their neighbors and protect the vulnerable. We exist to give those people a clear witness of God's love without damaging uh, the credibility of our message. So we must not regather in a reckless or insensitive way. Our actions should actually inspire the lost. So let's shine the light in every way that we can. 
in view of all of this that I've just stated, at this time, we will remain hopeful and intentional about regathering as soon as we wisely can. We're watching it very closely, and in each location, we will cooperate with our local safety guidelines as long as they don't violate our consciences or God's law. And with God's help, we will always provide, always provide an excellent online experience for anyone who may not feel ready to join us in person. We are a church for all people, and we will never stop inspiring, transform lives. So, when will we regather? The answer is as soon as we safely and wisely can. It's important to get this right, and you guys will be the first to know when that can happen. In the meantime, here's what we ask of each and every one of you. I ask you to stay strong in prayer, stay strong in love, in faith, and in generosity. I ask you to stay vigilant and hopeful and cooperative and patient. I ask you to stay connected and on mission with the Lord and with our church. And no matter what, let's keep moving forward together in unity and in passion for Jesus. We'll see you online at our Sunday services and our other scheduled ministry opportunities at each Gateway location. Speaking in behalf of our entire pastoral team, we love you. Each and every one of you are special. And we are so inspired to walk together with you into our exciting future. May the Lord bless you and keep you and may his favor shine upon you until we regather. God bless you.